Okay, today we're going to be doing this right here. We did one from them a while back. This one is called the Renfrey. This is from Soundpeats. And looking at the specs, here's the unit themselves. I'll show you in a minute. They're really unique looking for, you know, bone conduction. They got a cool kind of shape to them. There is a giant 16.2 millimeter dynamic driver in here. Together with a base boost algorithm, make the base more powerful. Food grade liquid silicone body. I don't think you want to eat this. Uh, nickel titanium memory alloy band for the part that goes around your neck. Open air, of course, all of these are open air. Dual microphone for a call noise reduction. It had very good clear calling with it. You have Bluetooth 5.3. Uh, frequency response range 20 to 20 kilohertz, 10 meters working distance, playtime is 14 hours, charging time is 1.5 hours. There is a 140 milliamp battery in here. It does not give me what uh, Bluetooth codes that it has. Um, when I connected to most of the phones, it was mostly um, what is it, AAC and SBC. Which are decent, decent enough. I mean, we get spoiled. We want LDAC on everything or AppDex, you know, low latency and everything. I don't know exactly what the codes are because I can only give you the information. But at least this one gives you a lot more information than the last one we did. So here's the box. It's a simple box, simple design. Here's the unit themselves. This part is shiny. This part is shiny. The whole rest of this is all super soft silicone. You can see there's vents there, there's a microphone there. Um, get over to here. You have some information on the inside. You would put these around your ears. Right there is a USB-C charging port, if you can see that. You just pop that off. There's the C right there, which is nice because a lot of these have that proprietary charging magnetic charger and, you know, you lose that and you're out of luck. There are buttons on here, right here, as you can see. You have your volume up, volume down. If you press them fast, you know, you can skip tracks and stuff like that. Let's uh, take a listen to what it sounds like. There you go. So, sound-wise, obviously these are comfortable. Obviously we won't cover sound stage on any device like this because, you know, it's open. It's going to have some really wide sound stage because the they sound's coming from outside the air canal. I found these very comfortable. You just have to kind of get used to this odd shape. Uh, they worked well, good connection. Uh, no dropouts or any major issues. Uh, the sound wise now, now it says that they have the bass and all that. These have decent bass. I gotta say, they're not as bassy as the other pair. It's more of a nice, clear, uh, more detailed kind of bass experience. Obviously, being bone conduction, you're gonna feel the vibrations of the bass. It's gonna have that kind of haptic feel to it, but you're not gonna get so much as a like a you know an impact full bass because it's not going in your ear or anything. But the bass is very good. And moving on to the mids, the mids are nice and warm, but they're extremely clear. Uh, they are forward, but not shouty forward. And then of course treble is there with some detail, but it doesn't overextend. Uh, it's just kind of like normal natural sounding kind of treble so that's in a nutshell these get loud enough which is uh, really really good because a lot of things don't get loud enough uh, and of course you can hear the sound and you can hear your surroundings and everything um, what I didn't get was any IPX it doesn't say anything about an IPX does it no I would have liked to know the IPX rating on these these being all silicone I would assume that they have some kind of IPX rating, which it doesn't say anywhere. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. Calls were very good. 
um, probably a little bit above average for devices like this. Uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be uh, singing your next record album on some of these portable devices. And then there are actually a few that we've tested that you could actually probably do that. But the calls were very clear. And that's what's important. Clear, no dropouts, good connection, and decent sound overall. So this has been the Sound Pete's Run Free uh, Bone Conduction Earphones. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.